Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on graphical inequalities. This is the second video on the topic and here we're going to start by looking at determining graphical inequalities. So in order to determine a graphical inequality, you first have to recognise whether or not it's a strict or an inclusive inequality. So a strict inequality uh, will be uh, one of the symbols greater than or less than and this is represented uh, by a dashed line. Now an inclusive inequality is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to and this is represented by a solid line. So strict is dashed line, uh, inclusive is a solid line. So now we just need to recognize what these three uh, lines on the graph are. Uh, so let's look at this first one here in red. Uh, so the red line here uh, has a gradient of three. So that means that for every one square it goes across, it goes up three squares. So if we draw a triangle here, you can see that it goes three across, sorry, three up for every one that goes across and it crosses the y-axis at minus one. So this means that the equation of the line is y is equal to three x minus one. Uh, but here we need to write this as an inequality. So our first one is gonna be y is less than or equal to three x minus one. Now why is this? Well, first of all, it's a solid line, so it has to be an inclusive inequality. And second of all, the shaded area is beneath the line, so it has to be a less than inequality. Now let's move on to the uh, green line. So the green line crosses the x-axis at x equals 2, and it's a vertical line. So this means this is the line x equals 2, uh, but here we need to represent this as an inequality. So the inequality is going to be x is less than or equal to 2. So why is it this inequality? Well, the shaded area is to the left of the line, uh, so it's going to be x is less than or equal to 2, and also it's a solid line, so it's going to be an inclusive inequality. Now finally we'll look at this blue line here. So this is a dashed line running through y equals minus 2. So the line is y equals minus 2, uh, but the inequality is going to be y is greater than minus 2. So why is it greater than minus 2? Well the area is above, the shaded area is above the, the line and it's a, a dashed line, so therefore it's a strict inequality. If you're feeling good about this topic and you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So it's a really good way of finding out where you're going wrong and how you can improve in time for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.